Let's go over the different chords first. So you got the E minor 7 to start with. This is a lot like the E minor that you did. But you're going to hold the 2 and 2 with your 1st and 2nd finger instead of your 2nd and 3rd finger. So you got the 2 and 2 held down with your 1st and 2nd. Your pinky is going to go on the 3rd fret on the B string. And then when you switch to the C add 9, your second finger and pinky finger will not move. You're going to replace the second fret on the A string with the third fret. So you use your third finger to hit that. And then you have a chord labeled G slash A, which is basically a G chord with an A for the root note. That's one of those chords where you just let go of everything except the pinky. So after you've let go of that, you're going to transition from the C add 9 to the G. This G, you're basically going to move your second and third finger down to the lowest two strings. Your pinky stays on the same note the entire chord progression. So after you've transitioned to the G, I labeled a chord called E7 sus4. This is another chord where you're just going to let go of everything except the pinky. <clears throat> then the next chord is a D slash F sharp. You're going to use your first and second finger to hold the two on the low E and two on the G string. The last chord is going back to the E7 sus4 where you just let go of everything and make that transition. So E minor 7, C add 9, G slash A, G, and then E7 sus4, D slash F sharp, E7 sus4. I'm going to play the progression slowly with the count, meaning with the rhythm. So the only time I'm doing an upstroke is when you have a fast section, where you have the and uh. Everything else will be downstroked. So we have and a uh, one. something like this. And that's what we got so far. <clears throat> if you got any questions, let me know. And I will uh, plan on seeing you again Wednesday.